Good afternoon all. Hope you're doing all right. Right, while I've been off the B-O-Y-T, the Boyt, because I'm not going to any panels or streams, as I said before, I've just been repairing stuff and um, got this Grundig cassette recorder. I don't normally mess around with cassette recorders because they're very fiddly. I mean, some of these old machines, I mean, like that one I've got there, at, uh, that's the Brunel one I'm fixing up. There's nothing in there at the moment. So I've got to work on the tech deck. So I've taken it all apart. And um, I've got to do some work on that to get it all working 100%. So um, there we go. So I thought I'd work on this Grundy cassette. I've always wanted one of these. I um, mean, this came out in 1975, this machine. Let's have a look so you can see it in its entirety. There we go. So this came out in 1975. And I've always wanted one. In fact, my um, my mum, she used to let rooms years ago, you know, help pay for the mortgage and all that. And uh, anyway, so um, I bought this off of eBay, really, really cheap. It was about £15, something like that. And uh, the guy said it was all working perfectly, but it wasn't because the uh, the little cog on the right, see that one on the right? You've got left and right. That's the take-up spool, that one. Oh, I can't get my finger there. That's the take-up spool. That wasn't spinning because these Phillips have problems. Sorry, the Grundigs have problems because um, they've got a Phillips mechanism inside and these cogs wear out and they break. I think I'm going to show you. That's the old one. Can you see the broken teeth there? A bit like me, really. I've got broken teeth, broken tooth at the back. But that's another story. But anyway, look, see, all broke there. And there's another one that goes on the flywheel. And that connects with that and that just crumbled literally i touched it it crumbled in my fingers so um i ordered replacements and that to get them from poland it's the only place i can find and um i think it cost me how much it was quite expensive really for what it is but if you haven't got the parts there's no way i could use this machine i'll have to scrap it so anyway um i put the uh, new bit around the fly where it just pushes on and it's got like a key connection on it it can only go in one way where it's got to go in in like a key slot otherwise it'll keep spinning around and it w wouldn't work you know it just won't work there's a lot of noise out there digging up the roads would you believe thames water so anyway um yeah so that little bit this little round cog goes onto the end of the flywheel and then it connects to this one so obviously the other one crumbled in my fingers so anyway then there's a new one there you can see it from here actually I put the light on the phone so you can see it, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see a damn thing. See that red thing in there? That's the new part. New cog. That's this cog here, this broken one. But there we go. And there's another little cog, as I said, that goes around the flywheel and it's keyed so it doesn't spin. So there we go. And uh, now it works lovely. Press start. You can see it turning around now. There we go. The other one only uh, I slack the other one on the left because that's the uh, the side that um, enables. How can I say that's pulling? So that this that's freewheeling. If you see what I mean, I'll show you how it works now. It's got a little demo tape. A taste of grease. Hope I don't get copyright on it, but who knows? But there we go. Right, so let's stop it now. That's working lovely again. Hooray. So there we go. The bloke actually was really good. He gave me a full refund because he thought it was all working. Because what he'd done, he tried to fast forward and rewind, but he didn't have a cassette, would you believe? See? So that was working. So he just tried that. And he thought, oh, well, that's it. It's working. Wrong. So <laughs> anyway, let's get a tape in. Let's rewind it. Let's go to zero. I've got to reset the counter. Right, reset. Right, you ready for this? Look at that. Let's try that again. Yeah. Buttons are smooth yet. Yeah, right. I'll get. I'll just keep. Well, there we go. That sounds great as well. Oops, turning around.
absorb the grief. So there we go. I've brought back life to something that would have been thrown into a landfill. So there we go. Let's go forward and see where else we've gone. It's got nice uh, meat on it. That's what um, attracted me to this machine all those years ago in 75. Some of you probably weren't even born in 75. And there we go. Yeah, it's working great. Building mic. I'll find another tape later and I'll do a little uh, recording on it. I'll tell you what did happen to it. On the erase head, there should be two tiny little pins that go on the top and the bottom. And what it does, just a guide for the tape. What happened was the head fell apart, would you believe? Because it's only made of plastic. And um, I didn't see the two little pins go flying off. So um, anyway, what I've done, I super glued it. Or I think you call it crazy glue in the States. I don't know, super glue over here. I glued the head together and then after I noticed the little pin I thought oh no so obviously I couldn't take it apart it was glued solid so it hasn't got two guide pins on the erase head but you know what it's still fine it still works all right because in the cassette you have two guides in here anyway you see those two little rollers oh wait a minute, that's a better angle see-through cassette see it's got a guide on the left that little wheel and the guide on the right there so it guides it anyway so the chances of it going actually out of alignment is quite rare. But um, on the other head, the record playback head, it's got two guides anyway. Can you see those two little prongs sticking out on the right? The, that's the tape guide anyway. So, But on the eraser, the white one there, it should have two pins sticking out. But, uh, oh no, I'll tell you what happened. Sorry. One went missing. That's all right. One fell out. Sorry. The other pin is in position, but it's uh, been retracted. It should come out further than that, but I glued it in position with the pin all the way back. So it's not really doing anything. So really, it's like if it hasn't got any pins at all. Now that's what I point that out. I forgot about that. No, oh, because it's been such a long time. I've been waiting, uh, let's see. The guy from Poland said he's going to send out the part straight away. And who had a tracking number. It's never arrived, it's over two weeks, and then he said, oh, I'll send another one, Priority Mail from Poland. And he sent it last week, and I got it today, which is Monday. So that arrived really fast. So God knows what happened to the other one. It might arrive, it might not. If it does arrive, it'd be a bonus. But uh, if you buy any Grundig cassettes or Philips, well, don't buy it. That's the advice I'm going to give you. Do not buy them, because uh, for some reason, they use these cheap, and nasty cogs that go brittle and uh, the teeth fall off. Like everyone else when you get old, isn't it? Teeth fall out. Oh, God, I hate that. I hate teeth. Anything to do with teeth, I don't like. I don't mind anything else medical, but when it comes to teeth, ugh. Uh, that's the original one, so that's fit for the... Oh, actually, I'm not going to throw it one. I keep it for um, an example in case I have to do another video one day. I'll just show you what the original one does after a few years but there we go new life hey hey new life you live oh, one it's shutting now don't start so it's me being too fussy i think oh, it's hard to do things with one hand isn't it right that's it not going down now why oh brilliant now it's not going down probably tape not in properly or i'm being too delicate Oh, great. Another problem. What's going on here? Oh, would you believe it? That's no, all right. It's me. I'm being too delicate with the damn thing. I'm so worried about anything else going because I don't want to work on this ever again as long as I live. It should go down easier than that. Maybe it needs lubricating. I don't know. Oh, weird. I think I'll have to lubricate this bit of silicon grease on the inside. On There's little runners there where the tape slides in. See that? There's little runners. You know, I don't want to sort of bust anything else on this. Well, I didn't bust it in the first place, but I'm saying I don't want to break anything. Is the cassette all right? 
Yeah. All right. Maybe you've got to press it where the arrow is. I don't know. That's all right now. Teething trouble, folks. That's all it was. Yeah. Ah, just got to be a bit rough with it. Be rough with it, Harvey. Come on. Don't be frightened of it. That's it. Right, let's go. Enduxi, enduxi re, enduxi, enduxi re. I know a little bit of Greek. Enduxi, ef garisto means thank you. Ef garisto re, ef garisto, enduxi. I'm not even Italian. I'm uh, sorry. Get it right. Oh God, I can't get it right today. I haven't eaten, that's why, I haven't had no food. I said, that's the pause. As I said, I'm not even uh, Greek. I'm, I'm Italian, but I know a little bit. I went to Cyprus once and I picked up a little bit. Two weeks. <laughs> Quite powerful, this as well. Right. Well, I'm going to stop the video now. I've been going for 11 minutes and I'm going to have something to eat. I've had nothing today and it's uh, 20 past two, would you believe? Let's do a quick uh, weather check while we're here. Alexa, what's the temperature in Fahrenheit? At the moment. It's 54 degrees Fahrenheit. 54. Tonight, you can expect a low of 47 degrees. Right, 54 at the moment. And uh, what was the other one? Alexa, what's the temperature in Fahrenheit? I've really forgotten. My memory. At the moment, it's 54 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, you can expect a low of 47 degrees. There we go. Yeah, it's not too bad. I'm not even cold. I haven't got the heating on at the moment because I've been working. When I work, I get hot because I burn up more energy. And energy equals heat. If you burn energy, it produces heat. There we go. So let's go forward. One more little play on this. In fact, I've got to clean it up now. It's a bit dirty here and there. You know what I'm going to use? A cloth and some warm, a bit of soapy water. Don't use spirit or anything like that. If you do use any sort of alcohol or anything like that, you can, there's a good chance you can take off all the um, the writing. You don't want to do that. All the different uh, little, what do you call it? There's a name for it, a proper uh, name for the writing on a piece of apparatus. What do you call it? Decal, decals, something like that. You know what I mean. Yeah, so uh, it's been original all these years from 75 and I'm not going to mess it up. So it's got a handle as well. Oh god, I just realised that. Hang on. How's it come out? It comes out somehow. There we are. Got a carrying handle. Woohoo! Wow. I pushed that in. I think I'd have pushed in equal uh, equal sides. I'm gonna break it. Get it in there. That's it. There we go. So this is a Grundig uh, C405 automatic, and what that means. It's automatic record, which I'm going to try out later on. Get a blank tape, just record a bit of speech. So there's no levels. You don't have to uh, turn the volume up because normally a volume control acts as a recording level in the, uh, recording level control and playback. You see, you don't have to do anything. You put that to zero and that will still record and it adjusts the level automatically. There's pros and cons with automatic levels. They're not fantastic. I mean, I prefer manual any day of the week i mean all the professional tape recorders whatever do not have automatic it's all manual even in top studios years ago everything was manual record don't have automatic but just made life a lot simpler for people who weren't really technically talented to say the least so they just want to record stuff from the radio there's a plugger lead into the side of this yeah it's got a little socket plug in the back of your radio wait for the top 20 to come up and just press record and off you go that's it no messing around so uh but there we go yeah that's the grundig all working again so now so i just got clean up with a bit of uh, a nice uh 
cloth. Nice, oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Nice clean cloth in a bit of soapy water. That's it. Oh, bloody hell, Harvey. I need to be. My brain's not functioning. Well, it never functions well anyway, but it's even worse today. But there we go. Yeah, so I'm just going to give it a clean up and uh, good to go. Done. Ree. Parts finally arrived. And as soon as they arrived, I put it in straight away because I want to know if they work or not, if they fit it all right. Actually, you've got to be careful when you put the flywheel back because if you push it down too hard and it's not in the right position, you're going to break those teeth again. So what you do, you push it down and you wriggle it side to side just a little bit because I tried to put the actual flywheel cover on. It wasn't going. I thought, what the hell's going on? It wasn't seated properly. So then I sort of wriggled it side to side and then one cog engaged into the oven went down in the proper position. So be careful when you do these. Uh, you know, it's a shame I can't do it again, do the job again and actually film the whole job. But ugh. I don't know. I get a bit nervous when there's a camera on me uh, trying to, you know, filming me doing things. Because I'm frightened of doing something wrong and buggering it all up. It makes me look stupid. So I'd rather not film myself doing jobs. A lot of people do. There's Radio Cruncher. There's Andy out there. You know, do all of these jobs with a camera on. But yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't do it. But there we go. All right then, folks. Uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, quick video. Well, it's 16 minutes. Let's play something else. That reminds me of something. Good evening and welcome to the 2022 Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> that reminds me of... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's it. And that's it. There we go. <laughs> Stop it with your Greek, Harvey. There we go. All done. Right. I'll talk to you all later. So this is what I do because I'm not going on panels or streams ever again. I don't think I'll bother ever. I'm just going to do this, do my own thing, which I like doing, which I prefer doing anyway. I can't waste hours and hours and hours on people's panels or streams i can't do that can't be done with that so i've got a lot of work to do i've got a lot of work to do in this house and eventually get it on the market and get rid of it get out of london i'm sick of london i hate london big time right i better leave some feedback on ebay for these cogs because uh, they work all right that's what i wanted to check first before i did leave any good feedback to make sure it all worked, the parts were compatible, and yeah, perfect. So there we go. I'm going to leave you with this plane. <laughs> Bye for now, folks.